Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to generate dynamic HTML input form fields by using jQuery repeater plugin. And insert data of dynamic generated HTML input field by using jQuery repeater plugin in MYSQL table by using Ajax with PHP. We have already published video tutorial on how to add or remove dynamic HTML field by using jQuery code but now we have find one jQuery repeater plugin. By using this plugin we will generate dynamic HTML fields and we will process that dynamic HTML fields data by using Ajax with jQuery. Currently in most of the form we want to require to insert multiple data of single fields for this we have to manually write jQuery code for generate dynamic HTML field but by using this fields we can generate dynamic HTML fields without write jQuery code. Now let's start discussing this topic. This is our testing database and under this we have one programmer table with three column like programmer ID, programmer name, and programmer skill. In this table we will insert data into this table, here programmer skill column data will be insert from dynamic generated HTML fields by using jQuery repeater. This is our index page and on this page we have already imported JavaScript jQuery library link and bootstrap style sheet library link. This link for import jQuery repeater plugin by using this plugin we will dynamic generate HTML fields in our form, we can download this plugin from this GitHub page. Now we have moved to write HTML code, here we have use bootstrap panel class and under this we will make HTML form. Under this panel body tag we have write span tag with attribute id is equal to success result, under this tag we will display data inserted success message on web page. After this we have write HTML form tag with method is equal to post and ID is equal to repeater form, we use this ID as selector in jQuery code. Under this form first we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to name, under this text box we can insert programmer name details. Below this we have write division tag with id is equal to repeater, we will use this id as selector in jQuery code and we will initialize jQuery repeater plugin on this tag. After this we have write division tag with class is equal repeater heading, this class define header of repeater and under this we will make button for add more dynamic input fields. Under this tag we have write button type is equal to button class is equal to repeater add button and in button text we have write add more skill, this button will generate dynamic HTML fields when we have click on this button. Below this we have again write division tag with class is equal items and data group is equal to programming languages, this class define repeater items like HTML fields. Under this tag we have again create division tag with class is equal to item content, this class define repeater item content. Now here we have write select tag with data skip name is equal to true and data name is equal to skill in array format, 
Here this datum name attribute will use for define name of dynamic generated input fields. So, newly dynamic generated HTML fields name will be skill in array format, because here user can define his multiple skill by selecting dynamic generated select box. Under this select box we have define 8 option like PHP, MYSQL, jQuery, Ajax, Angular JavaScript, CodeIgniter, Laravel, and Bootstrap. So user can different multiple skill from select box. For remove dynamic generated HTML fields, here we have write button tag with ID is equal to remove button and on click attribute is equal to dollar this with parents method. Under this method we have write items class name with remove method, so when we have click on this method then it will remove items class content from web page. Lastly for submit form data we have write input type is equal to submit with name and value is equal to insert. By click on this site we can submit dynamic generated HTML fields data. Now we want to initialize this plugin, so in jQuery code part we have write dollar with division class id repeater with create repeater method, this method will initialize this plugin division tag with id repeater. Friends here we can see when page has been complete process of load into browser then we can see simple form with enter name and skill details with insert button. Here we can see add button, so when we have click on this button then new programming skill select box has been generated on web page with remove button. So here we can generate number of select box by click on add button, suppose we want to remove any select box from web page, so we can remove by click on this remove button. So this way this plugin can generate dynamic HTML input fields without writing any line of jQuery code. Now we want to insert dynamic input fields data in MYSQL table. So we have go to index page and here we have write dollar with form ID repeater form with on method and under this we have write submit event, so when we have submit form then this code will execute. Under this we have write event dot prevent default method, this method will stop to submit form data to server. Now we have start write ajax request and under this we have write url option set to insert dot php, here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method option and here we have use post method for submit form data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write dollar this with serialize method, this method will convert form data into URL encoded string. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function will be called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with form id repeater form with zero index with reset method, this method will reset form fields. Below this we have write dollar with division class id repeater with create repeater method, 
This method will reinitialize this plugin and it will remove all dynamic generated input fields from web page. Lastly we have write dollar with span tag id success result with html method and under this method we have write data, this method will display on web page which data it has been received from server. Now we have we have moved to write php code on insert.php and on this page first we have to make database connection. For this we have write dollar connect variable with nuke to class object. Under this first we have write mysql host set to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root and password set to blank. This way we can make database connection. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post name variable, if value of this variable is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar skill variable is equal to implode function with string delimiter argument set to comma and in array argument we have write dollar post skill variable. This code will convert programming skill array data into string and store under dollar skill variable. Below this we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with double colon programming name key value set to dollar name variable. And second double colon programmer skill key value set to dollar skill variable. This way we have store form data under this dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into programmer table with table column like programmer name and programmer skill with values get from double colon programmer name and programmer skill. Below this insert data query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar query variable. If query successfully run and data properly inserted into MYSQL table then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement. With division tag with class is equal to alert and alert success class of bootstrap library and under text we have write data successfully inserted, this message will be displayed to user on web page. Friends we have already seen how jQuery repeater plugin generate dynamic HTML input fields and how can we add more or remove dynamic generated HTML fields. Now want process data of dynamic generated input fields. So first we have refresh page and in name text box we have enter John Smith and after this from select box we have select PHP skill. After this we want to add one more skill. So we have click on add button and after click on add button new select box has been generated with remove button. So here we have select MYSQL. After this we want add one more skill. So we have again click on add button and new select box has been generated and here we have select jQuery. But we want to remove this fields from form data. So we have click on remove button and after click on remove button whole select box row has been removed from web page. 
Now we want to insert this data into MYSQL database so we have click on insert button. After click on insert button form data has been submitted and we have received success message on above form. After submission of data all form value has been clear and dynamic generated HTML fields also removed from web page, so this way we can use the jQuery repeater plugin. So, if you have developed any form and in that you want to insert multiple data of same fields then at that time we have write jQuery code for generated dynamic HTML fields but by using this plugin we can generate dynamic HTML fields without write jQuery code. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, Please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.